couple second years, I'm going to make a quick video from the procedures room showing you how to use the contrast and stereo, Leah stereo functions on the Marco autom automated ferropters. You can see here we have uh, the chair and stand as you typically would in the procedures room. This one says Topcon on the holder, but it's really a Marco if you look carefully. So uh, let me just show you what you need to know for your second proficiency for perception class. First of all, there are a couple ways to get there. One is, this is normally the tab you work from, tab one on the pedestal. If you go to tab three, you'll find a couple features you may not be used to using. For example, number 10 will show you the Ishihara plates that are, um, that uh, there are about eight of them that you can do it for. And we're not required to do these yet, but the, um, they will give you a demo plate like this and a few others that we're gonna start covering in class today. And I think you can change it just like the way you would any acuity type of thing. Let me get back out of there if I can. And um, go back to tab three, number 10, and see if we can go up and down. Yeah, there are the pediatric plates uh, using the remote, and I'll show you here going up and down. We're going to see the pathways that we'll learn in class today. And then a few numbers, about half a dozen of them or so. Okay, but what we really want to know is contrast and depth perception. Let's do Leah Stereo first. Number 16 from the panel, we'll take it to Leah Stereo. This uses red and blue anaglyph, and if you look carefully at it, you'll see there's a number down in the corner. And as you've learned in lab, that number of the first three digits is the stereo demand. The last digit, you might be able to tell what it is you're looking from here, but you don't want to tell your patient. And then using the up and down on the remote again, you can change the demand. You should be able to. Let me see if I can get that working. And maybe I'm pointing at the wrong place, so let me come on back. And we'll try that again. And there we go. Now pointing at the MS remote box here um, with the remote, you'll see that you can change the demand. That's 207 arc seconds for this lane, 166, and so on. And it will go down to a certain demand. That's something I've asked you to figure out for lab. Um, and you can see how it goes. It may be a little different from lane to lane, and I will take all acceptable answers. And then I'll loop back around to the beginning. One of those four is popping out in a base out sort of direction. You need red and blue anaglyphs to be able to see it. In clinic, you'll have these available from the front desk or in the lanes, as in Beaverton. You can ask for them at the front desk if you want to practice that, or you can try your red-green glasses and see how they work in a dark room. That's Leah Stereo. Now, if we want to do contrast, there are a couple ways we can do it as well. And I think if we, uh, if we press on the panel here, number nine on tab three is going to show you the grading type of contrast. And what you'll see if we approach the screen is that up in the upper left-hand corner, there's a number of cycles per degree. This is six cycles per degree. So by the rule of 600, we divide 600 by six and we get 2100 for the demand. On the right-hand side is the contrast, 25%. And then of course the patient would respond that the stripes are horizontal. If we press the remote, and I'm gonna point it at the MS box and see if it'll respond, there we have down to 1.5 cycles per degree. That's the, the uh, bigger than the peak of contrast sensitivity at 2400. And if we, uh, it, if we keep pressing the button at that place, it'll change the, the orientation of the stripes. If we want to then change to make the stripes smaller, there's it's 2200, three cycles per degree, 2100 again. And it goes down to half that again is uh, 2050. And 18 should be about 20. 2030 rather, uh, 2035. And I think that's as small as it goes and it will change orientation. Now, if you want to change the contrast, use the other button on your remote, this one. And now you can see we're at 12.5% contrast. I need to point back at the box here rather than at the screen. 10% contrast on down, and that's percentage contrast in the upper right. And that's very hard to see. <laughs> you can really, really have trouble seeing that. Uh, even where I'm standing, it's hard to see. If you have trouble seeing and you want to leave it at the same contrast, you can make the stripes bigger, and then they start to become more visible. They're horizontal right now, going obliquely up and to the left, straight up, and so on. Now, probably also of interest to you is to get low contrast Snellen, and there it is. And what I've done is I've hit the contrast button on the remote. Let's see if I can get that in focus up at the top. There's the contrast button. And you can see there are Snellen letters that appear right now at 63% contrast in 2050 in size. And if I continue to hit that button, it will randomize them, uh, just the contrast button. If I hit the, again, the down part arrow on the remote, it will change from 2030, 2050 to 2040 and 30 and 25. And if I hit the other button on the remote, this one, it will change the contrast itself. And you can see it goes down quite a ways. That's a question we had for lab as well. How far can you go? And if you eventually go down all the way, it should wrap around 
and uh, very hard to see. We generally do single letter on this until we um, uh, reach threshold. And if you're doing this on amblyopia, I generally compare the same size letter for both eyes because of the effect it has the, the, the letters size themselves have on contrast ability. Um, that's not the same for all attending, so you have to ask your attending on that. So there's a quick uh, and dirty uh, preview of how to use contrast and stereo, as well as a little bit of Ishihara stuff on the on the Marco projectors, uh, rather the MS charts and the and the Marco um, system. So there is additionally in clinic there will be a tablet that will allow you to, to make further changes than you can see here. I hope this has been useful for you, and please work with your TAs if you have any further questions, and we'll be happy to. Uh, to show you more tricks. Thanks.